Hello, my name is Armin Zambrano. I work for Mozilla Zabelis Engineering. You might know me for wrestling alligators, but today I'm not gonna explain you any of that. Uh, today I'm gonna explain you how our infrastructure work, works and uh, how it actually helps you to get your work done. So let's get started. Um, you probably know that we have repositories where the code is and uh, normally you would do changes, commit the change and push it to the repository. A few hours later uh, you'll have builds, performance tests that have been run, unit tests that have been run against uh, Firefox and somehow you get all your results, right? So for you maybe release engineering is kind of like a, like a cloud that really can be opaque for you. But today I'm gonna try to explain you a little bit on how it works and uh, how your builds and tests get run. Things are a little more complicated than that. A developer pushes a change to Mercurial uh, then one of our billbot masters detects your change and assigns a certain machine, either a Windows machine, Linux machine, or Mac, or an Android uh, build. Um, you'll have a pool of slaves. We call them build slave. And they, cons they consist of a pool. Once the builds are done, we actually upload the builds and the tests to FTP. And later on, the billboard master will notify the test machines to download your builds and the tests. Once those tests are run, are reported the performance tests are reported into a machine called graphs.mozilla.org. It contains it's a DB with all that information. Um, also, the tests are reported at the end to TBPL, which I'll explain it in a little bit and you, the developer will have a unified view of, view of those results. In the back end there's something called Tinderbox where all the logs are stored and processed but at some point we're gonna some point soon we're gonna get rid of these. Um, for the curious uh, the actual setup is a little more complicated there's different build slave pools and different build masters and different testing masters so things are a little bit redundant. Once you do a commit a change, you'll create, you'll have a different optimized builds that will be created out of that of Firefox, uh, either desktop builds or uh, mobile builds. This diagram could be out of date very soon, and in fact, it's already missing the Windows 64-bit builds. And besides your optimized builds, you also have your debug builds that are shown in here as dark green. Over here on the left, we have as you can see double um, blobs or double uh, circles in here showing that you'll have unit test coverage but also performance coverage of those builds. We do it only against optimized builds. We don't run performance tests for uh, debug builds. As you can notice over here uh, they're not shown uh, you don't see a double diagram or a double circle underneath. Now let's go a little bit from being a little bit of ab abstract to actually uh, looking how our repos are set up. A developer <coughs> normally wants to get their changes to Mozilla Central, um, but before you get it into there, you can either land it into a, a branch called could be Trace Monkey, I am Monkey, um, Mozilla Inbound, the Tri Server. Um, this allows developers to separate their work from Mozilla Central and commit it back once they're ready. Once a feature is on Mozilla Central, eventually eventually at a certain date will be promoted to Aurora, uh, Mozilla Aurora, and uh, after six weeks, uh, if it doesn't get backed out, your feature or your change, it will eventually make it to Mozilla Beta, and then it reaches our beta audience. And then after six weeks, if uh, everything goes well, your feature will make it to release and ship to everybody. I mentioned uh, briefly uh, Mozilla Inbound. Mozilla Inbound as Mozilla Central is sheriffed and uh, it has different rules and people land changes there that eventually will be merged um, by volunteers into uh, Mozilla Central. It's a little bit special compared to other branches because it actually has a lot of load 
and many contributors rather than employees l tend to land over here before uh, reaching the tr uh, Mercurial Central. Uh, we have under hg.mozilla.org a bunch of project branches, the actual uh, Mozilla Central, and somewhere down there you'll have under releases Mozilla Aurora. So if we look at Mozilla Central we can see that people have been landing changes with different uh, messages and each one of these changes if there's a machine available will be built and tests will be run against it either performance or unit tests. Previously I mentioned something called tbpl tbpl.mozilla.org it shows a breakdown of each push to Mozilla Central in this case uh, we're looking at the Firefox tree which is represented by Mozilla Central and as you can see on each row you can see there's a Linux Optimize B it stands for build um, this is the Qt build um, the, the mobile desktop build and over here you see Moki tests which are test suites that are run you see uh, an XPC shell which is as well a, a unit test but also over here you see uh, Talos jobs. Talos jobs are represented by a T because it really doesn't matter. The actual results are posted into a DB which allows you to compare these results. Let's look at these um, by parts. So if we look at the top of it we can see there's a drop down menus. If you click on the tree info you would see information about who the sheriff is and the schedule of it, who the build duty is, and the schedule of it. And you can even look at the different changes uh, independently. In this case, we can we have something called a sheriff. A sheriff makes sure that the whole uh, TVPL page, things are uh, reported when they turn orange or when they turn uh, purple. They're supposed to help maintain the health of the, of the actual tree. And the build duty is uh, a release engineer that is in charge of checking that all infrastructure is running properly. If we run, if we look at the infrastructure uh, tab, we can see that each branch is shown and which are the pending jobs and which are the running jobs for each one of those uh, trees. In this case, if you see there's so many pending jobs, that means that if you push to the try server or the try branch. Uh, your jobs are actually taking some time before a machine picks them up. Over here we see all the jobs that are currently running and eventually will report back. You can use filters on TBPL. Those filters they allow you to filter by your name or in the name of uh, somebody who pushed the change or you can change it to filter it by uh, actual, actually a, uh, a job type. Also you can look at it only as at jobs that are not starred. Also there's something called the uh, tree status and it tells you what are the rules for that tree. We'll look into that a little later. Over here you also have a breakdown of jobs that are failing. If you see a green corner it means that somebody has reported that orange. Uh, an orange actually means not the fruit but one of the test suites for that suite one of the test suite, uh, one of the tests of those hundreds of tests have actually turned into orange and the whole job is notified um, when I said orange I meant failure one of the tests have been notified as a failure so let's look at the live uh, TBPL and see how it looks over here you see that you have red builds and something that you would notice if if I click on uh, one of these boxes it will actually scroll down to the actual job as orange and also you'll see an asterisk which notifies or indicates that somebody has reported this job. Uh, you can see uh, the person who has reported it at what time and sometimes there is a summary maybe this is not loading up properly. Also if we look down in here we can see uh, some indications of what things could have gone wrong in that test suite it also identifies over here the, the actual job that has been run that it has been considered as a failure the revision that we point to and we can load over here the different logs that will allow us to determine what happened also if you see a job that has not been reported let's go to one 
over here there's a mocky test on the Android builds that actually has gone orange for something called tfail. Uh, that means uh, could be an undetermined uh, type of job uh, failure. So you, we can go over here and click on add comment and then we can type our name and say it, this is actually a certain bug one two three four five. If there were this problem had been reported previously you could get suggestions down in here to help you uh, report this orange without having to go through bugzilla queries over here we can see uh, in a more compact compact way that for this change by this person you see you have all these jobs that have been run then there is something called com uh, compare compare talos I'll show you how this works if we go back to TBPL and let's say I check this change and I was supposed to, hold on uh, if I click that change I think there is one more checked yeah over here we see a change set that I checked before and then I want to compare it to this change it will compare both change sets uh, by clicking over here you can see the revisions over here and over here and you can click on compare and it will give you different deltas and variation between the jobs broken down by uh, by different operating systems okay let's move forward and now you'll hear the term called star oranges as I said it's not the fruit but it's a job that has been run and has turned orange um, to indicate that one test has failed you can see over here that this feature might not be working right now this is an old feature that we're in a transition mode that this could have been lost uh, I haven't seen it in the test that I just did before but over here we can see the machine that has run the test Talos indicates that it's a testing machine, Rev3 indicates the revision of the mini that runs it, XP indicates that is uh, Windows XP and slave number 35. The actual error is this and below we can see different types of uh, suggestions so if it was this job I could click on it and it would indicate that we have marked this as a failure, as a known failure. Uh, over here we see this bug striked because it has been uh, fixed already and again this area I already explained it over here we can see that 18,339 jobs have been run one has failed and 687 I believe they are uh, uh, known uh, oranges or known failure and I'm gonna stop the video right now over here uh, since I already gone already three, 13 minutes and I'll resume with, uh, with the next video Thanks for listening.